You really want to get out of here? Yes, I'd like to get out. It's Christmas Eve and I'm not with my family. All right, you want to go, okay? I'll... I'll let you out. Thank you. Okay. Look at this guy. Let's go, Michelle. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Michelle, put the glasses away, put the cigar out, and let's go get Christmas over with. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. These are the kind of people I've been dealing with all day, you know? Does he care about his fellow man? No. Does he care that we have family waiting at home? No. He's probably having Santa sleigh towed as we speak. Come on. Wait, Uncle Jesse. Maybe he locked us in so he wouldn't be all alone on Christmas Eve. Michelle, listen to me. He doesn't care about us, so we don't have to care about him. Let's go home. Look, you wanted to go home, both of you. Get out. Come on, let's go. Mr. Dreckhorn, what are you doing tonight? Never mind, little girl. I I have big plans tonight. Good. Have your big plans. Go have dinner with your family and drive them crazy. <laughs> My family, huh? Which family are you talking about? The one that doesn't write me? Or the one that never phones me? You're not going to spend Christmas Eve with your family? Forget about my family. Forget them. They forgot about me a long time ago. They went up to Oregon, took my grandchildren with them. I haven't talked to them for years. Why didn't you go with them? Why didn't I go with them? I had to stay here and take care of this fun box. <laughs> Besides, they, they, they never asked me. Swallow your pride, Dreghorn. Get your butt up there and see him. I mean, family is everything. You don't know what you're missing, man. I don't know what I'm missing, man. I know what I'm missing, man. I don't need to be told by a, a walking oil slick. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help. Well, then leave. That'd help. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Jesse, it's Christmas Eve. Can't Mr. Dreghorn have dinner at our house? Why would I want to do a thing like that? So you wouldn't be lonely. Lonely? I'm not lonely, little girl. You don't fool me one bit, Dreghorn. I can see it in your eyes, pal. You're not this grumpy guy you appear to be. And I'll tell you something else. I know. In your heart, you don't want to stay here Christmas Eve locked in a place with a bunch of whoopee cushions and, 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 and rubber vomit. Now, wait a minute. Be careful how you talk about, about that. It's genuine made in the USA regurgitation. <laughs> oh, why don't we talk? Hey, I, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make fun of your merchandise here. I know this is, uh, this is this is quality puke you got going on. I got to apologize to you. I'm sorry about the crack about oil slick. Even though you are a court low. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, that offer's still good. We'd love you. We'd love you to come over and have Christmas Eve with us. Please say yes. I don't think I can. It, it would mean so much to the kid. Yeah, it'd mean a lot to the kid. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you know, she is about the age of my granddaughter. <laughs> All right, good. Let's go. Let's go have some... No, wait a minute. Listen, there's something I've been wanting to do, and I've wanted to do it for a long time, and I'm going to do it now. Wait for me. Uncle Jesse, are you happy now? Yeah. I think inviting Draghorn over was a great idea. I've been belly aching all day about no one having any Christmas spirit. The problem wasn't with everyone else. The problem was with me. You lost your Christmas spirit? Yeah, I'm afraid I did. But you know something? I think I'm starting to get it back. Merry Christmas, Munchkin. Merry Christmas, Uncle Jesse. You did a good thing. I gotta hand it to you. Ah! <laughs> 